Alright, well now that we got our headers switched out here, got the shell barns on. Dad's up there in the number one combine. He's running the lead combine. Okay. He's talking to the cart operator. But he is right. These we usually run faster than the platform heads because these work like a big vacuum sweeper. That hood in the front pushes against that weed and creates a seal. Yeah, okay, because this is some custom work. But um, so yeah, it keeps it pushes that wheat to keep that seal and keep the green flying up front. I get up here, I'm gonna test this on actually. Go ahead and yank this yoke back here. Hydro, whatever you call it, yoke, hydro, whatever you call it. Some people call it different names. Let the machine clean out here. Take a sip of my nice Gatorade Zero. Oh, good stuff. Looks like we got some rain coming right there. We'll take it. We will take it. We need it. Alright, I have one down here. Click. Click. Moisture tester. Yeah. Open my little dory door here. Dump the old wheat out of the moisture tester. Fill up the moisture tester. Oh, that's dry. I'm going to test it anyways, but it's dry, I can tell it just by how it feels. And by the way, it rattles. But it's dry, but I can never be too safe. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, my cap's kind of a mess. Ignore that. Most of that's from today. I haven't had a chance to stop and clean it out. All right, turn this thing on. Uh, let's go ahead and get a test of that. Nine nine. She's dry. Nine nine. Fire her back up here. And we're off to the races. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to glorious downtown Hamlet. I already went. Uh, radio always starts. People always start talking up. Yeah, well, the my radar thing said that we were supposed to get a severe storm tonight, so... Well, we'll take it. We need the rain. That's not very easy to do. Hold the mic and the camera. Sorry, fog. Um, I gotta cross some narrow tracks. I'm gonna put you guys down here. Well, guys, what the heck do you think we're doing here? <clears throat> How you doing this afternoon? Well, um... In case you, you're living under a rock and you don't, or I guess if you don't know anything about farming, you wouldn't know what this is. Uh, this is a wheat head. We've been cutting wheat the past two days. I haven't really got much footage. Um, started cutting <clears throat> Sunday evening. Cut like 40 acres. And then between yesterday and today, getting moved clear up to Juanita from where we are, which is like almost 40 miles uh, between yesterday we got up we got up here yesterday at like 6 o'clock in the evening and then we ran to like 10.30 with one combine so we had to do a little work to the other one and we had both of them running all day today and we knocked out a, a 140 acre field and we're moved to another field when we get to there we got to take these headers off Put the shell borns on, and uh, oh, here's my turn. 
slow her down a little bit. Both of our combines have a hydrostatic drive system. Basically just means they're hydraulic driven. How's the cart coming? Yeah, the cart's coming, all right. Then we got the 7130, yes, it's back. We got the 7130 on the grain cart. The 875 bushel J&M grain cart. And so, yeah. We are headed uh, north of a little bitty town called Hamlet. I guess I'll see you guys when we're going straight through amazing, popular downtown Hamlet, Nebraska. Well, guys, how are you this morning? Um, I forgot to get anything last night, but we got that 70 acre patch there done. We just took this header off this combine, and we took that header off the other combine. It is in route to the next field. Usually we move with the heads on. But we're the fact that we are back a trail, we can't really do that because it don't fit. But yeah. So we'll move up. We're gonna cut up. 80 and a couple pivot corners with the stripper heads and we'll have that we should have that done tonight and then we will move the straw straw choppers pull the chaff spreaders off and we'll we're gonna drop straw on the pivot circle up there and we're gonna bail the straw I guess I'll see you guys when we're pulling into that next field. Well, guys, how you doing today? Um, yes, yeah, so after I took that video last night, we got rained out like 10 minutes later. So, uh, yeah, we didn't get a whole heck of a lot done. We did get the duels fixed on my combine. And then the tire guy was just leaving when it started pouring. It was about like a monsoon there. But we're going to move cows today. We're moving them to this pasture over here. This is what we call our east pasture. Because, well, it is our pasture that is the farthest east. So what I'm doing is I went around the fence and I found a spot that needed a staple put in it. I already went and did that. And I found this spot here. This wire's tangled up. Calf will run right through that. So I'm trying to get this wire untangled here. So that, ouch. So that we don't have cows out because the neighbors have corn right here. And, well, they don't really like, you know, cows out in their corn. I don't really blame them. <clears throat> this wire's kind of fighting me here. But, uh, as you can see, there's a little blue. We just got a little blue back. little blue got a clutch put in it. And, because the clutch was slipping all the time. Oh, that means a pair of stretchers taken to it. And I just so don't happen to have stretchers. Nice. Let's see if I can get these two untangled here. Arrgh. I hate barbed wire fence sometimes. Usually it keeps the cows in, but it's a pain. There. Well, that'll keep a calf in. If I had stretchers on me, I'd stretch it, but another thing I could do is make a stay here, a makeshift little stay. Cut some of this hot wire, this old hot wire here, and I'll make a stay out of it. These pliers are fairly new, but they're dull already. They don't hardly cut wire. About gotta snap it. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna move some cows today because the place they're at, they're at our feed yard. They're mowing down the weeds in there and they ran out of stuff. 
150. What the heck did I do? Because now that fence is tight. Oh, I know what I did. That wire was bound up in there. Okay. So I don't need to make a stay. But I, what I will do is I will wrap this around this post here. So it is here if I ever need it. And also so cow doesn't get tangled up in it. So yeah, that's what was going on there. It was wrapped around that wire and it was tangling and mangling it and making this end of it go loose. Okay, that's good. Easy fix. But um, yes, yeah, so I guess I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> oh well, we are knocking down second cutting. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here, guys. I'm gonna get you a nice little time lapse here. I've already got one field done, but I'll get you a nice little time lapse. I'm doing this field. This us now. Good. All right. I'll put you on fast forward. I just finally got done with this field. It's the next day, obviously. There we go. I just got done with this field. Um, like I said, I'm half deaf now because the compressor clutch is out in this tractor, so we got a new compressor coming. So I have no AC, so I got the door open and the window open here. But yeah, I'm half deaf now because that swapper is not a quiet swapper. But I'll go ahead and hold her up. We're done with second cut now, Alpha, but we got a field that we wrapped from a guy. And we had it we we got all the wheat cut off of it. We ran our stripper heads through there. And um uh, truck coming here. And he's gonna put in a tree row along the edge along the highway. So what we're gonna go do is ooh, I'm gonna go ooh, big mosquito looking thingy. I'm going to go swap where he's going to put in that tree row and we're going to bale that straw. That way we can just get all we can out of what he's going to do there. So I guess I'll see you guys when I get done with that. Well, I did happen to get that straw swap yesterday, them few little passes. And um, I am currently cutting wheat. We're dropping straw on a circle here. Um, but that's where I'm going to cut it off for this video. Um, if you guys like the content and you want to support the channel, the two best things you can do is like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you see anything that you notice that can possibly help change our operation to better our operation, go ahead and leave a comment, or if you just want to say hi or whatever, just leave a comment down below and... Uh, Tune in for the next time. And I'll see you guys next time.